okay this of course we did x into e raised to x dx which we did earlier taking uh, this as the arithmetic is taking this as u and this as a we found this as the answer already we have done this earlier yes and we got it right okay now we have x squared into e raised to 3x now let's see this is a little longer okay so let's see what we get over here we have x squared so among these two both are exponential function but this is a constant raised to things so this will be taken as actual exponential function this is taken as a algebraic so this will be taken as u so it's going to be x squared into e raised to 3x dx minus integral of d by dx <coughs> x squared sorry derivative of d by ds x squared into integral of e raised to 3x dx and the integral of this product so it's eventually x squared e raised to 3x do not forget upon 3 special variable after taking it we need to find the derivative of 3x which is 3 here to divide by 3 minus d by dx of x squared is 2x into again e raised to 3x by 3 this whole thing dx now this is going to be x squared into e raised to 3x upon 3 you can take minus 2 by 3 common and you get x into e raised to 3x dx so we have to continue the process here so this is ultimately going to be x squared e raised to 3x upon 3 minus 2 by 3 again we integrate this by parts x into e raised to 3x dx minus d by dx of x into integral of e raised to 3x dx and the integral of this so this will now become equal to x square e raised to 3x upon 3 minus 2 by 3 into x e raised to 3x upon 3 because the x's are going to be written as it is e raised to 3x the integral is e raised to 3x by 3 minus d by dx of x is 1 d by integral of e raised to 3x is so it's going to be e raised to 3x dx so this is further simplified as x square e raised to 3x upon 3 minus 2 by 3 into x e raised to 3x by 3 minus again e raised to 3x by 3. Okay. e raised to 3x by 3 x squared. We have, have we gone somewhere? It's e raised to 3x. Okay, 3x by 3. Hmm, here also there is one 3 <coughs> because this you have found out the derivative of this. So it's going to be e raised to 3x by 3 into 3. So it's going to be since the derivative of e raised to 3x is 3. Hence, we get it e raised to 3x by 3's derivative. So, it's eventually x squared e raised to 3x by 3 minus 2 by 9 x e raised to 3x plus 2 by 27 e raised to 3x plus constant c. So, it's going to be x squared e raised to 3x minus 2 x e raised to 3x by 9 plus 2 by 27 e raised to 3x so it's going to be option number see we did a mistake over here we took this e raised to 3x as derivative as e raised to 3x itself so it's going to be e raised to 3x by 3 and then again further by 3 because this is going to be derivative of e raised to 3x so it's option number c okay okay so what do we have here we have log x the whole square dx and the result is so and so now here again we take log x, take this as log x, the whole square into 1 dx, simple. 
So you're going to take obviously this as u. So it's going to be log x. The whole square will be u into v dx that is 1 dx minus integral of d by dx of log x the whole square into integral of 1 dx and the integral of this product. So this will give you x log x the whole square minus d by dx of log x the whole square. First we take this as a variable so it's going to be 2 log x into raised to 2 minus 1 and then derivative of log x which is 1 by x into x this dx. So this will now equal to x log x the whole square minus 2 into log x dx. Log x integral of log x dx is nothing but x log x minus x. But okay, just to brush up a little more, we can take again further as minus 2 into u is case is log x into 1 dx minus d by dx of log x into integral of 1 dx whole dx. So it's going to be x into log x the whole square minus 2 into x log x minus d by dx of log x is nothing but 1 by x into x this whole thing dx this gets cancelled so this is going to be x log x the whole square minus <coughs> 2 into x log x minus x plus k. So among these what can we have? We have x log x the whole square minus 2x log x plus 2x plus k. So this is x log x the whole square minus 2x log x plus 2x plus k. So among these this is the right answer. We could have directly substituted uh, integral of log x as x log x. We would have got the same thing. Okay. So Hence the option is A, okay. Now, we have x raised to x into 1 plus log x dx. Now, this is a little, uh, we have to go back to our concepts of differentiation. We can take y is equal to x raised to x. So, taking log on both sides, log y would be equal to x log x. Differentiate both sides. we get 1 by y dy by dx x into differential of log x that is 1 by x plus log x into differential of x that is 1. So ultimately dy would be equal to y into 1 plus log x dx. So this is nothing but x raised to x into 1 plus log x dx. So dy is this. But this alone is nothing but what we have. Now you integrate both sides. So you get dy is integral of x raised to x into 1 plus log x dx. Now the integral of this is nothing what we want. So ultimately this is going to be just Integral of dy is y plus constant. So ultimately, integral of x raised to x into 1 plus log x dx, which is what we want, is nothing but y, that is x raised to x plus the constant. So it's going to be x raised to x plus the constant, which is going to be option number d. Right? Hence, we get it that way. Okay? Okay, here we have using integration by parts calculate x cube log x. So, what do we have here x cube log x again? There is a tie between u and v. You take log x as u. 
So it's going to be logarithmic function. So log x into integral of x cubed dx minus d by dx of log x into integral of x cubed dx and dx of that. x raised to 4 upon 4 minus 1 upon x into x raised to 4 by 4 and the integral of this. This gets cancelled. So eventually it comes x raised to 4 log x by 4 and this is 3 minus 1 by 4 into x cubed dx which is nothing but x raised to 4 by 4. So this is going to be x raised to 4 log x by 4 minus x raised to 4 upon 16. So um, if you take LCM you get since we want it in that format you can take uh, x raised to 4 outside and inside you get 4 log x minus 1 upon 16. So you get x raised to 4 into 4 log x minus 1 upon 16 plus the constant. Hence you get x raised to 4, 4 log x minus 1. Why we need the simplification? Because among the options given over here we have we have seen the format is in the most simplified form. So we get x raised to 4 into 4 log x minus 1 divided by 16 plus k. Right? So that's what we have. Okay. Next we have log x the whole square into x dx. Okay. Now how do we do again here? Log x the whole square will be outside. So we have u that is log x the whole square into integral of v dx that is x dx minus d by dx of log x the whole square into integral of x dx and the integral of this particular product. So this is going to be log x the whole square into x square by 2 minus 2 log x into 1 by x into x square by 2 and this gets cancelled this gets cancelled dx so ultimately this is going to be x square by 2 into log x the whole square and we have minus integral of x log x dx. Now here we have x log x dx. Log x the whole square. Now further you may have to do this. So it's eventually log x into x dx minus d by dx of log x into integral of x dx and the integral of this product. So this will become x square by 2 log x the whole square minus this will give you x square by 2 log x minus of minus will become plus d by dx of log x is going to be 1 by x into x square by 2 and dx of this. This gets cancelled. Right. So this now ultimately it's going to be x square by 2. x square by 2 log x the whole square minus x square by 2 log x and here 
is going to be plus x square by 4 plus k and this whole thing you can take x square by 2 common we get x square by 2 into log x the whole square minus log x and here it is plus half plus k so ultimately it's x square by 2 log x the whole square minus log x plus half plus k so among these this one seems to tally so i suppose that's the answer let's just, let's see yes that's the answer <laughs> okay <clears throat> now we have here e raised to x so let's just do it this way it's integral of e raised to x into x log x plus 1 upon x. So, which is eventually e raised to x, x log x by x plus 1 by x dx. So, this gets cancelled. So, it's eventually e raised to x log x dx plus e raised to x upon x dx. We have to find this out. So, now we are going to integrate both these separately. So, we need to here, let's integrate this one first, logarithmic function outside by parts u v dx, that is e raised to x dx minus d by dx of the first function log x into integral of the second function that is v e raised to x dx and the integral of this plus e raised to x upon x dx. This is the first part. We will do this later on. Let's see, maybe things could get cancelled. So, ultimately, this will give you e raised to x log x minus d by dx of log x is 1 by x. Integral of e x is e raised to x. This dx, this much alone is this, plus e raised to x by x integral of this. This will be eventually e raised to x log x minus e raised to x upon x integral of this plus e raised to x upon x dx. Now if you see this two are getting cancelled because they are one and the same. <coughs> so ultimately this is going to be e raised to x log x plus some. <coughs> It is e raised to x log x plus a constant. So, this is how we do it. So, the second function we don't integrate first. Let us simplify this and then we go about doing this. So, hence when you simplify this, that's one of the integrals and the, one of the resultant integrals gets cancelled. So, you get e raised to x log x plus k. So, our option number is a. Okay. What we have next in the anvil is log x square it's log x square so it's going to be hmm. so it's going to be log of x square which is going to be dx which is going to be 2 log x remember it's not log x the whole square which you have done earlier it's going to be 2 into integral of log x dx we already done many times integral of log x is nothing but x log x minus x plus k. So, you can take 2x common and you get log x minus 1 plus k. So, it's going to be 2x into log x minus 1 plus k. That is option number B. Okay.